Hi guys, my name is Uwa and today I've been entertaining you guys with this or that question. It's going to be very entertaining, so stick around. The first question goes thus Would you rather go about your normal day naked or fall asleep for a year? That's a very silly question. Why would I want to go naked and go about my normal day? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go about my normal day naked. That's crazy. I wouldn't do that. But I can actually sleep for a whole year. Although that's going to reduce the amount of time I'm going to use on networks. I don't mind doing that. By going around naked, that does that mean my genitals will be out? That's that's very silly. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But I can actually sleep for a whole year. That's something I can actually do. The next, the next question is, um, would you rather be gossiped about or never be talked about? I believe there's nobody on net, even if you are poor, you would always be talked about. So whether you are rich or not. So I would rather be gossiped about than never to be talked about. If is there any is there also anyone that people don't talk about at all? Probably the person is dead. Even someone that is dead, we still talk about them. So I would choose being gossiped about. That means I'm relevant and I'm important to some So the next question is would you rather be airy all over or completely about? This is very, very funny. By airy, there are degrees to being airy. There are some people that have so much air on their body that you feel like they are monkey descendants. I mean, their ears in their, on their chest, their back, their faces, every part of their body. So, I don't, I'm not going to choose that type of airy. But would I want to be bowed? If I actually choose being bowed, if I choose not being bowed, it will make people that are bowed feel bad. Don't leave me, don't leave me. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose being bowed because look at my airline. I'm actually going bowed one way or another. So, I will choose being bowed. I will not want to be airy. So, I'm supporting you guys that are bowed. So, let's go. Next question is Would you rather be happy for eight hours a day and poor or sad for eight hours a day and rich? This one is a very technical question. You will be poor and you will be happy. You will be sad and you will be rich. Is that even possible? I'm not going to answer this one because I don't have an answer for it. So the next question is, would you rather be invisible or be able to read minds? I don't want to be invisible because if I'm invisible, I'm going to do a lot of crazy, crazy things. And I wouldn't want to do that. But if I'm able to read minds, I'll be able to at least know what people think about me and I'll be able to steal people's ideas. Right? So I'm going to choose being able to read minds. The next question is, would you rather be rich and ugly or poor and good looking? Have you ever seen a rich guy that is ugly? No, they are never ugly. And you need to also know, majority of people that are rich, they are usually average when it comes to good looking. So I think I'm average, so I'll choose being rich. Rich and ugly. I don't want to choose being poor and good looking because there's no advantage to that. Next question is, would you rather be stranded on an island alone or with someone you hate? Being stranded on an island, that alone, that means... That's crazy because you wouldn't have anybody to speak with, so you can actually go psychic. Even if I, I would choose being have someone to have someone that I, I hate because at least you have something to fight about. And I don't usually hate anybody, so you might actually become friends along the time. So I'm going to choose being stranded on an island with someone that I hate. So I'm going to choose that one. Um the next question is would you rather end hunger or hatred? Would you rather end hunger or hatred? I think I would probably prefer ending a trade if you end a trade it's going to people would actually um be able to share things with each other they'll, they'll stop eating each other so that way they'll be able to love each other and when you love each other you'll be able to share things with each other so they probably might not be on at the end of the day so i'm going to end a trade the next question is would you rather find true love or 10 million dollar <laughs> currently i'm not looking for true love but i'm looking for 10 million dollars so i'm going to choose 10 million dollar maybe later in the future i'll not start looking for true love but for now I need 10 million dollars. So the next question is, would you rather forget who you are or who everyone else is? I would not want to forget who I am, but I would probably wish to forget who everybody else is because it's going to be funny. You start asking questions, a lot of questions, but I don't want to forget who I am because that way, there's people that will be feeding me information. So I want to forget who everybody else is, but not myself. The next question is, would you rather make headlines for saving someone's life or for winning the Nobel Prize? I think Nobel Prize is actually overrated. Is a and majority of people that argue that it's given to majority of them, I don't even believe they did something that is what life's like, it's life saving. So, I'm going to choose making headline for saving someone's life because that way I'm I'm saving someone's life and also I'm making headline at the same time. Although I don't like headlines, yeah. the next question is Would you rather would you rather never use internet again or never watch TV? TV, 
if you have internet, you, are, you literally have everything. You can watch any program you want. We just have those TV programs now and now online. So I don't need TV. I just need internet. So I'm going to choose having internet. The next question is train or plane? I choose plane. Although I've not used any of the three, but I'm going to choose plane. The next question is baseball or football? Obviously, I'm going to choose football. I don't give a hoot about baseball. Next question is zoo or aquarium. I'm going to choose aquarium a hundred times. What next? Next question is: Would you rather win hundred thousand dollars or let your friends win ten thousand dollars each? <laughs> this is actually a very very funny question. I wouldn't want my friends to win ten thousand dollars and I would not have anything. And if you am supposed to look at it, I think the friends, the people that I can call my friends, I'm not I'm not sure they are even up to five. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to win the hundred thousand dollars. And I'm going to share ten thousand dollars among each of them, and I'm also going to have something to myself. So that way, it is win-win for everybody. So I wouldn't want them to win, and I would not win. That's crazy. Like this money, not in real life, <laughs> not in real life, but this particular money. I wouldn't. Since I'm joined, that the opportunity is brought to. So I would like to win alongside them. So I would choose hundred thousand dollars. Next question is: Would you rather have a golden nose? Or have the most precious voice. What do I need a golden nose for? It's going to draw attention to me. But I need a precious voice. That's very, very important to have a precious voice. This is for Brian recitation. The next question is Would you rather be the most funniest person in your life or the most intelligent person in the world? These two things come to it, one particular thing, which is fame. If you are funny, you are going to have fame. If you are intelligent, you are also going to have fame. So I'm going to choose being intelligent because when you are intelligent, you are going to get other perks, the other perks to it. But when, I, when you're just funny, you, are, you have the fame, you have the money, and all that. But when you're intelligent, you have the capacity, capability of saving lives and making tangible changes. The next question is um, Would you rather have a limitless rewind button or a button that pauses any part of your life? I would prefer a limitless rewind button so that I can rewind anytime I make a mistake or some of the things that I know presently like this, if I knew them back in 2017, it would have helped me a lot. So I'm going to rewind back to probably 2017. Because if I say I should pause it, if I have the pause button with me and I pause live, I will probably not play it again. I'll just continue doing what I want to do because I feel like I'm going to make mistakes again. So I'm going to have, if I choose the limitless rewind button, I prefer that a lot. Because that would mean that anytime I make a mistake, I'll be able to go back and correct the mistakes. The next question is, would you rather own the greatest Lamborghini collection or a bookcase filled, filled with infinite knowledge about life? I think I would choose, I would have chosen a bookcase, but I don't usually read a lot, so I might not actually know what is inside those books at the end of the day. But I'm going to choose a Lamborghini collection because that would mean money to me. So, that is all for now. I hope you guys enjoy this this or that um, section. Enjoy this episode of this or that. This is probably going to be the first and last episode I'll be dropping that with this or that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you click on the subscribe button also on the notification bell. See you guys. Thank you.